Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. I'm Madam Nuridaya binti Aman from Physics Unit KM20. Today we will learn chapter 10. The topic is mechanical and sound waves. I will cover subtopic 10.1 which is properties of wave, 10.2 superposition of wave and 10.3 sound intensity. And my friend will cover chapter 10.4 and 10.5. So, this is the overview of this topic. It is divided into several parts, which is physical parameters, types of wave, which is divided into two, transverse wave and longitudinal wave, and we have superposition of wave. And then for sound intensity, we have sound. For sound wave, we have sound intensity, stationary waves, and Doppler. So now let's go to progressive wave. What is progressive wave? Progressive wave is the wave that move outward from their source. The progressive wave is also known as traveling wave. There are two types of progressive wave which are, there are transverse wave and longitudinal wave. Progressive wave has a definite speed called the speed of propagation or we can call the wave speed. Okay, we can call the wave speed. Which is V. The direction of wave speed is always the same as the direction of the wave propagation. So here is the types of progressive wave. First we have transverse wave. Transfer wave is a wave with direction of Vibration of particle is perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation. As you can see in this GIF image, the particle is uh, vibrating upward and downward. And then the direction of the wave propagation is to the right. So we can say here that the direction of particle vibration and the direction of wave propagation is perpendicular to each other. Okay. The example of transverse wave are water wave, water wave on string, and electromagnetic wave. So then we will have a longitudinal wave. What is longitudinal wave? Longitudinal wave is a wave in which the direction of vibration of particle is parallel to the direction of wave propagation or wave speed, as you can see in this GIF image. So, here is the differences of the two waves in table. I hope it will be more easier for you to understand. For transfer wave, again, is the direction of the vibration of particle is perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation as you can see in this image. And then for longitudinal wave, remember that it is the direction of vibration of particle is parallel to the direction of the wave Propagation, as you can see in this GIF image. The example are shown below. This is the types of wave. We have transfer wave and longitudinal wave. You can also can make this experiment yourself at home. Okay, so now let's move to 10.1, which is properties of wave. At the end of this chapter, you should be able to define wavelength and wave number. Solve problems related to the equation for progressive wave when y is equal to a sin omega t plus minus kx. You also have to discuss and use particle vibrational velocity and the wave propagation velocity. And the last one, you have to discuss the graph of displacement versus time and displacement versus distance. In this figure, we can see the sinusoidal wave where we have crest or peak. What is crest or peak? A crest is a point on a wave which has the maximum value of upward displacement within a cycle. We also have trough. What is trough? Okay, what is trough? Trough is the lowest part on, in, on the wave. Right? The horizontal distance between the two adjacent Crest or trough, we call the 
lambda or wavelength. Okay, remember that the horizontal distance between two adjacent crests, okay, or trap we call lambda or wavelength. This is the water wave diagram. As you can see here, we have crest. Okay, we have crest and also trough. We have crest and trough. Where the distance between point A to B, we call one wavelength. We call one wavelength. And the time required for the wave crest at point A, to reach point B, we call the period. Okay, we call the period. Where the period is the time required for a wave press at point A to reach point B. Here is the explanation for the wavelength. Okay, wavelength. As you can see here again, we have crest and also trough where the distance from crest to crest is one wavelength or one lambda okay the distance from equilibrium to this equilibrium where we have one oscillation is also lambda or one wavelength distance between trough to the other trough is also lambda. Okay, so as you can see in this image, we also have amplitude. What is amplitude? Amplitude is the maximum displacement from equilibrium position to the cross or trough of the wave. This graph shows the wavelength and period. If you have uh, y versus x, so then your distance from crest to crest we call the wavelength if you have y versus t graph so then the time taken to make one oscillation from crest to crest we call the period okay so this is a few quantities and its definition where we have displacement what is displacement displacement is a Distance moved by particle from its equilibrium position at every point along the wave. So then we have amplitude. What is amplitude? Is the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position to crest or trough of the wave motion. So this is the amplitude from equilibrium to crest or equilibrium to trough. The unit is meter or centimeter. So then we have frequency. What is frequency? Is the number of complete cycle that pass a given point per second. The unit is hertz or per second. So then we have period. Is the time taken for the particle to complete one cycle of its oscillation, or the time for the wave to travel one wavelength. So this one we call period right so the unit for period is second so then we have angular frequency where is the rate change of the phase of the sinusoidal waveform the unit is radian per second we also have wavelength wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or distance between any two successive identical points of the wave. So, this is the wavelength. Okay, we call the wavelength. So, a distance from equilibrium to equilibrium takes one complete oscillation. Or the distance between crest to uh, adjacent crest, we also call the wavelength. Or from trough to trough, we call the wavelength. Remember, wavelength is the distance between two successive crests or two successive trough. Then we have wave number. The wave number is the number of wave exists in one meter where the unit is per meter. Where the 
uh, formula for wave number is to pi over lambda. This is the formula for wave number. Wave number is defined as the number of wave exists in one meter. This is the formula for wave number and the unit is per meter. Next, we have 10.1b where you have to solve problems related to the equation for progressive wave where y is equal to a sin omega t plus minus kx. This is an equation for progressive wave. We have y x t is equal to a sin omega t plus minus kx. Where y is the displacement of particle from its equilibrium position. x is a distance of particle from origin. t is time measured in second. The amplitude of the progressive wave measured in meter or centimeter. We have angular frequency which is radian per second and we have wave number in per meter. So this is the equation for progressive wave. There are two equations here where we have y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx. So this plus shows that the wave is propagated to the left and the other one we have y equal to a sin omega t minus kx. This minus shows that the wave is propagated to the right. So you have to remember. This one is the alternative equation of the progressive wave. We have y is equal to a sin omega. So omega you can sub substitute with 2 pi over t. And k which is wave number you can substitute with 2 pi over lambda. So here is the three equation. That is uh, alternative to right equation for progressive wave. Number 1, number 2 and number 3. You only have to substitute into the formula. So then, uh, number 10.1c, has, we have to discuss and use particle vibration velocity and the wave propagation velocity. So, this is the derivation for particle vibrational velocity. From the definition of velocity, we have Vy is equal to dy over dt. So, then you have to differentiate. Uh, d over dt is equal to A sin over dt over kx. So, we have Vy is equal to A d over dt. We have sin omega t plus minus kx. So, we have Vy equal to A omega plus omega t plus minus kx. So, this is the formula for particle vibrational velocity. For particle vibrational velocity, okay, as I mentioned before, V is equal to A omega cos omega t where V is the vibrational velocity of particle, X is a distance from origin, T is time, A is amplitude for progressive wave, Omega is angular frequency, where Omega is equal to 2 pi L, or equal to 2 pi over V, and the wave number K is equal to 2 pi over lambda. Here is the wave propagation velocity. Where the for the velocity for the wave propagation we have V is equal to F lambda. Or we can have V is equal to lambda over T. This is the derivation for the wave propagation velocity. From the definition of velocity, we have V is equal to S over T. So, S uh, this, uh, is a distance. So, 1 lambda is our distance. And T is time. Here we have period. So, period is the time taken to make one oscillation. So, then we will have V is equal to F lambda. So, this is the comparison of the two uh, particle vibration velocity and the wave propagation velocity. Well, for the particle vibration and velocity, you can see that this uh, particle is uh, moving up and down. So, this is the velocity of particle which oscillate about equilibrium position in simple harmonic motion. By differentiate the displacement equation, so then we have Vy is equal to 
Y omito cos, omito t plus 2x, on to have dy is equal to, y omito cos, omito t minus 2x. Where plus shows that the wave is propagated to the left, and minus shows the wave is propagated to the right. So then we will have wave propagation velocity. For the wave propagation velocity, okay, wave propagation velocity is the uh, v is the velocity at which the wave crest or other part of the waveform move forward. Alright, so figure shows the trough travels a distance of one wavelength in a time equal to the period. So we have v is equal to s over t, okay. S over T, so we will uh, substitute. Okay, we have the distance is lambda and the time is period. So the formula for wave propagation velocity V is equal to F lambda. This is example 10.1. Okay, figure above shows the wave profile which t is equal to 0 second for the sinusoidal wave travels in a straight line to the right. Okay, to the right, a constant speed of 10 meter per second. So, you have to write the equation to represent this way. So, we have v is equal to 10 meter per second. We have amplitude is amplitude is 0 0.2 meters we have lambda equal to 1 meter okay the amplitude here is 0 0.2 meters and our lambda is from equilibrium to this one we have one wavelength so we have to find the frequency first okay so the equation for uh, progressive wave y equal to a sine omega t minus kx minus means the wave is propagate to the right. So to find omega, we know that omega equal to 2 pi f. Okay, so we don't have f, so we have to find f. We have v is equal to f lambda. So, F equal to V over lambda. The V is 10 and our lambda is 1. So, our F is 10 hertz. Okay. So, our angular frequency omega equal to 2 pi F. So, we have 2 pi. Our F is 10. So, we have our omega is 20 pi radian per second. So then you have to find the wave number. So the wave number k is equal to 2 pi over lambda. So 2 pi over lambda is 1. So we have 2 pi per meter. So we have to substitute into the equation omega t minus kx. So then we have y is equal to okay, y is equal to a is 0 0.2 sine 20 pi t minus 2 pi x. Alright, where y is in meter and t is in seconds. 